Welcome to another edition of Soundboard. Jazz is the subject tonight, and my special guest, Ron Eshte, is going to wow you not only with his flying fingers, but a very different kind of guitar. Most guitarists play with six strings. Well, he plays with seven. And he'll be joined by Luther, who's his bass player, tonight with some standards, some original tunes, and a whole lot more, some conversation as well. Ron Eshte is known as the guitarist for the LA4, a fine recording artist as well as an instructor here in Los Angeles at the Guitar Institute of Technology. You've read about him in Guitar Player Magazine. Now let's listen to Ron Eshte with an old standard, Love for Sale.
You've been listening to my guest tonight, Ron Eshte and Luther Hughes on bass. You just heard of one of his own compositions, Petit Chanson. Welcome to Soundboard. Thank you, John. Glad That's to be here. That's a real sweet song, by the way. I kept trying to tap my foot. <laughs> I kept missing the beat. It's, uh, it's a little bossa nova, actually. Mm. And it has some time against time rhythms in it. Four against keeps, against keeps four. Keeps the ear guessing, yeah. doesn't it? Yes. Now, you have been heard on, uh, on record. Well, you've got four records out now. Is that yes, right? Uh, what records. labels are they on? I have one called Spirit Samba on uh, JAS Records. I have uh, two on the Muse label to let you know I care and line up, and I have a Christmas Impressions album, which is on a label from uh, Seattle, Washington, called Music is Medicine. Yeah, that's a good Christmas album. I've listened to it quite a lot, actually. Thank you. And uh, most people who know your name have also heard you with the LA4. How long have you been playing with them? Oh, since about, uh, I guess about November of last year. Yeah, so your name is getting around. We're having fun. Good, good. You know, not only are you an interesting player, but you've also got a very interesting instrument. What is it about this guitar? You've got uh, one extra string. <laughs> well, actually, the original design of this particular type of instrument, the seven-string guitar, was mm -hmm. uh, by George Van Epps, who is one of my big heroes, you know, naturally. And basically what it is, if I can show you here yes, real please. quickly, it's, uh, it's a regular guitar mm -hmm. with another low A. Oh, that's down there. So, if I'm, you know, if I'm playing a, a ballad like the introduction on uh, "Love for Sale," which yes. is played, you know, I can get those. Uh, I can get a kind of an arpeggio in the bass and stuff. And it also comes in handy for like if you're backing a vocalist or something. You know, you get those types of jobs where you know you're just a guitar player mm. by yourself, so you can play. Play a walking bass line. So it works real nice. And yet you choose to work with a bass player at the same time. Is that ever a conflict of interest? Does Luther feel like he's got half his job taken care of? Oh, no, never, because this is a good six-string guitar, too. I also use the, the uh, six-string for playing for playing lines, too. Mm. I can play extended lines uh, with it. So it doesn't really interfere. Uh, we're going to feature him on the next tune we play and I'm going to do some stuff. He'll get up in the high register and, and play some solos and I can actually walk for him ah, so the bottom doesn't That's fall a nice out. switch, isn't it? Well, yeah, we, we enjoy it. We, uh, Luther's a longtime friend and just a brilliant musician. Mm -hmm. There's also a part of your playing where you're doing a lot of chord solos together where I hear you're doing melody and chords. Um, maybe I'm a frustrated big band. I know I'm a frustrated <laughs> piano trio. But I, uh, I like this love. You mean like the big band uh, yeah, shout? Yeah. Mm. Well, those types of things. Yes. Well, what's the next tune you're going to play for us? We're going to play uh, "The Touch of Your Lips" by uh, Ray Noble. By Ray Noble. And it'll feature Luther on bass. That says it best. Ron Eshte, my special guest tonight, and Luther Hughes on bass. "The Touch of Your Lips."
That's the jazz of Ron Ashte and Luther Hughes. Wonderful playing, a little solo on the bass there. What's it like playing with this guy? Do you feel like you've got to cover your ground? It keeps me on my toes, <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> Are you used to playing with a piano player rather than a guitar player? Uh, no, actually, I'm used, I mean, Ron and I have been playing for so long now that uh, uh, I, occasionally when I play with a, a piano player, I have to had to make an work adjustment the there. <laughs> <laughs> you two work together just as, as one instrument. It's a Thank you very sound. much. And speaking of instruments, I forgot to ask you, who made this beautiful instrument of yours? Uh, this is got me for me by Bob Benedetto. He lives in Clearwater, Florida. He also makes violins, violas, cellos. And mm. He's a brilliant luthier. Well, it's a work of art for the ears as well as for the eyes. Now, Ron, you also work at GIT, is that right? The Guitar Institute of Technology? Yes, I've been there since uh, it started. Since it started, yes, and what are you right. teaching there? Improvisation or uh, well, jazz? Well, basically, my, the school has gotten big enough now that we can do some, you know, expertise. Everybody can do the things. So, I've been teaching uh, the last couple of years. I've been teaching chord melody and uh, uh, classical guitar, hmm. basic, basic classical guitar. I mean, that was my major in school. Hmm. Well, I see you, you sure know. work your fingers like a classical oh, player. So, <laughs> I love it. Do you make them uh, get a seventh string on their guitar? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I, most of the time I bring a sixth string to school. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. Is there much of a difference playing with seven strings? Um, How long did it take you to get used to it? Well, it's, it's kind of a thing like uh, you hear it more than you feel it. You know, I, it's like I don't have any problem picking up the sixth string and playing after mm -hmm. playing the seventh string because the register is so different. You know, you just kind of automatically just do it, you know. Hmm. But it, you know, it did take me a while to get that other string together from a listening, you know, standpoint of view. Ah, it's interesting. It's a whole new way of thinking things. Well, I want to thank both of you gentlemen once again for coming down and brightening up our evening. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much, John. Remember that you can hear Ron Eshte on uh, four record albums that are out and around, and hear him again with the LA Four or whatever you can catch him. He's a fine player. And we'll see you next time. It's been a pleasure having you here on Soundboard. The gentlemen are going to go out with what tune? Hamps Blues. Well, here's Hamps Blues.
This program was made possible by funding from GPI Publications, publishers of Frets, Keyboard, and Guitar Player Magazine.